morning YouTube. Come with me and ride Callie this morning. So it's Monday morning, morning. Hello, I'm barely awake. It is 10 past seven, which means I'm already running late, which is cracking. So what do I need to do? I need to change my shoes because I need wellies. So this morning I've just got Callie to do. We're going to do some flat work. I tried her in a new bit yesterday. She seemed to go okay, so we're going to try again today. Just do some a light bit of flat work. Um, there was a lot of fireworks last night. Apparently, um, the horses did not react well because there were some fireworks literally the house over. So I'm actually just going to go out and check them and make sure that all of their legs are in the right places and that they're all okay. So fingers crossed. Um, on a side note, I absolutely hate fireworks night. It gives me proper anxiety. This is the new bit we're working with. So it's actually a bit I've had for a while. It's the Acavallo sensitive bit and I've just put some latex around it because I'm just aware that they chew it. But um, she seemed to go well in it, so we'll try again today. Good morning, Arlo. Using my Voltaire saddle cloth as a cat bed. Morning, Callie. How are we doing? Go on, Callie. She seems okay after the fireworks. Um, just taking a rug off just now. Seems to be walking all right, so. Fingers crossed, we got away with that one. Just another week of fireworks to go, what fun. Let's ignore the colour of my horse and pretend she's clean, shall we? I could wash her, but let's face it, I'm not an aesthetically pleasing vlogger. I'm a pretend the mud isn't there or cover it in white paint type vlogger. If you can even call me a vlogger. Picking Callie's feet out and taking the time to give them a feel after a night galloping about in a panic caused by fireworks, because that's exactly how I wanted to start the morning. I did intend on chatting to you while tacking up, but unfortunately at this time on a Monday morning, my brain is still taking the time to get online and usually needs a few reboots to get there. Or caffeine. I keep intending to bring coffee with me to the yard, but at 6am my bed seems far more inviting than that extra five minutes to getting up to make a coffee. And yet every morning I end up regretting this decision. Anyway, back to Callie. She's always been an ass to put a bridle on. Well, actually the bridle is fine, it's just getting the bit in. Who doesn't love an added challenge in the morning of putting a bit in a giraffe when you're just five foot three? I think this is just from her not liking her previous metal bits, as she's definitely better with this new plastic one. I think it's now just a habit. Or I hope so at least. I'm also having to get used to having a grey. The closest to a grey that I've owned before was a piebald cob. What I didn't appreciate is how much more sensitive their skin and coat is compared to the gingers. She gets rubs in places I never would have thought of, as in she currently has boob rub from her martingale. So I've hopefully solved this by throwing money at it and have a new martingale and furry cover on the way. This is also why I'm using a furry underneath saddle pad and a furry girth. I'm going for the if in doubt throw fluff at it approach. So far it seems to be working. Quick outfit change for me, love this season. I'm either freezing or sweating, there is seemingly no in between. I definitely need to invest in a new base layer or two, so please drop any suggestions in the comments. Let's go clip -oo. One Cali horse flat work done. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but hopefully it was effective. That's what I'm aiming for at the moment. I think that's the thing with young horses, isn't it? Like, it's either pretty or it's effective because I can't do both. I can't sit pretty. Walk on. Clearly, some of spook at absolutely nothing. I can't sit pretty and look pretty and be effective. So I can sit nicely in walk or um, I can actually, you know, get canter. But my legs are flapping, my arms are flapping. I'm swinging around all over the shop, but Anyway, young horses, we move. Also, I say that as though it went terrible. It actually didn't. She was a very good girl, um, but we're just working on, for the first time, two trotting poles in a row. You can see them just behind me, just up there and there. Um, and once she comes over one, she kind of thinks she's done and collapses in a heap. It's only in trot. So, and then she gets confused as to the fact that I'm still trying to steer her straight. And also the fact that she doesn't actually go straight for some reason. She's got a natural wiggle. So might start calling her Wiggles or Colin the Caterpillar, who knows? This is why I like having the wings here, because I'm just trying to teach her to go between the wings over the pole. And obviously the pole's not a drama, she doesn't mind that. I'm not bothered about the pole at all, she just trots over it quite nicely, but it's just the fact of having more than one thing to think about. So she's used to just coming around, jumping or trotting what's there, and then that being done. So having immediately a second one, she's a bit like, what? So um, it's just teaching her, encouraging her little baby brain. And also it's quite taxing for mine first thing in the morning, being honest. All untacked and back off out for the day. I am wondering, it's five past eight now, wondering whether I can make it to Sainsbury's. Um, supposed to be work at nine, but work from home. So, and I've got to drive home. Um, might be being a little bit optimistic, but we might give it a go. Oh, and I've still got to feed these guys. One pony successfully out. Hello. I always underestimate how much time the feeding and rug changing actually takes and also how disgusting dried mud is. How does it manage to get literally everywhere? It also sticks to my face so I look a significant amount more tanned than I did when I started. Well, either that or I look like I've been working in a mine. Thinking about it, my general look in winter does have a lot in common with a miner. Head torch, hard hat, significant amount of grime and not having seen daylight in four months. Wardrobe change for Tushka, going from a hedgehog rug to a sausage dog rug. What can I say? Bright rugs keep me amused. That and if they all had matching navy, it'd take me three hours to figure out whose is whose. Right, horses all fed, rugs changed. Let's try and make it to Sainsbury's. The cat is still asleep on the saddlecloth. Right, partially covered in hay. Let's go to Sainsbury's. 
Going to say to this time, I find that no one really cares what you look like because most people in there are either tradies, landscapers, blokes basically getting a meal deal, or mums that have forgotten something on the way to school. So everyone's in a rush and no one cares. Pick a candle. Why not come join me on my food shop? I'm trying to get some healthy food and I'm not organised enough to go on the weekend. Well, combine that with not liking people and getting weirdly anxious about food shopping means that this is the best time to go. Quite why I get more anxious about food shop than I do about riding in a packed warm-up arena, I will never know. Although, maybe it's the lack of left to left? A very quick and thankfully quiet food shop done. Hopefully that's enough for the week. Although I did forget carrots for the pony carrot tax. Looks like I'll be going back tomorrow. Sainsbury's shop all done. I'm trying to be non-suspicious because there's most people in the car park. Let's see if I can make it home in 10 minutes in time for work. And we made it back. Thanks for joining me. Come and spend some more time with me tomorrow.